And here we go on our Thursday draft day edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. We are trying something a little bit different here. We are going to do a Browns war room. So I'll explain it a little bit here. What we've basically done is we've pulled up the PFF mock draft simulator. We've already simulated the first round. Um, really, there's not a lot of names that went in the first round on this simulator that you would have thought would be on the board for the Browns at this point. So Trayvon Walker did go number one overall uh, in that draft. If you're wondering, the Texans at number 13 picked Drake London uh, and the Ravens a pick later picked Garrett Wilson. That would have driven Doug insane had it been the Browns and then the Ravens picking uh, Garrett Wilson. So uh, really the only big name that I see that went in the first round was George Pickens to the Chiefs. And that's one of those teams that makes you a little concerned. Um, as far as a team that could steal a receiver the Browns really want. So the board looks pretty good for now. All right, we're, we're moving along, right? The, the New York Jets on the clock. Here we go. This is the one that has me really nervous. Oh, oh they're all trying right. to come off the board now. We just lost trail. All right, now maybe we need to stop again. I don't think the Bears <laughs> are going to trade with us. I don't think with us. Because the Bears are going to take Dobson back. here. You we're don't dead. think the Bears are going to trade with us? They no. need a guy, too. Well, the guy I would make a case for is still on the board. So, who have the Bears taken so far? All right, let's find out here. It's, it's, they haven't drafted yet. This is their, this first, is their pick. first pick. Oh, this they is don't. First they don't have a first round right, pick. You're right. Yeah. Justin Fields. No, nope, they took a. They traded up for Justin Fields. They have to take a receiver. They have exactly. to take a receiver. Well, it's too late. Dotson. Well, it's I just, Dotson. Dead in the I water. just texted. I just texted Tim and I said that Mary Kay is looking at me like she's going to fire me. <laughs> as as the draft is over. Do you know any oh, team boy. they're hiring? Ready for the third guy to come off the board in a row? Jay. Oh, that they was a bad corner. pick. Corner bag. I think the sim helped us here. The Bears oh, yeah. is the Bears. Yeah. Well, if anybody's going to make a bad pick, it's the Bears. So <laughs> they helped us out. Who did the Falcons point. take? Who did the Falcons take at eight? All right. Let's find the Falcons here at number eight. Kyle Hamilton. All right, I think we got to trade up with the Falcons to get ahead, uh, trade up with the Seahawks to get ahead of the Falcons to get Dotson. So we got to get one of these two picks here. Yeah, the F Seahawks have back-to-back -back picks at 40 and 41. Then mm -hmm. it's Colts, Falcons, and then the Browns. We had three guys we liked and two of them are gone. Are and we sure though? We, we have not had the Christian Watson discussion. He's small school and he's old. And he's raw and he's fast. And I don't think he fits a guy who can come in and help the Browns right away. And the fact that he's 23 is a mark against him for the way that we as the Browns think. So I, think I would not be nearly as happy with Christian Watson as I would be with Jahan Dotson or the two guys that just went. The age to me is really what's throwing me off that it would kind of be an anomaly for if we are like in just in an essence, I guess, pretending like we are the Browns front office, if we're trying to take on some of those characteristics, I don't know that they would be content waiting around for a guy who's older by their standards. Okay. I ran the simulator over here on my own and Jahan Dotson, I didn't use the advanced settings. I mostly did uh, the default settings. And Jahan Dotson went number 39 to the Bears. Mm -hmm. I think we got a gift here. Mm -hmm. And I think we should accept it and trade up. Mm -hmm. Or I think we have to start talking about not a receiver. Like if we're dedicated to getting a receiver, I think we have to trade up here. If, it feels if, if like we're that's... okay with an edge and uh, take a receiver in the third, okay. I mean, I mean, Scott, are you, re do we have to take a receiver here, Scott? I, th I think you're the only one that hasn't really kind of pounded the table, like take a receiver to this point. Yeah, I've kind of gone back and forth between that and, and somebody on the defensive line. But I do think that you want somebody to come in ideally and at least compete for a starting spot. And I think Dotson sounds like a better option there than an edge you're going to get here. Um, I know you really don't have anybody. We're kind of expecting or half expecting Clowney to come back. I think if you're the Browns in this situation, you have a better handle on that than obviously we do. Um, that might inform what they would do here. So I'm going to go ahead and assume Clowney's coming back. And uh, and I'm, I'm all in for, for going up and getting someone like Dotson. And I do like him uh, more than, than, uh, than Christian uh, Watts. So. I also don't think there's an edge rusher who's like a number two 
play 75% of the snaps guy. I might be forgetting somebody, but like, I don't know if Nick Benito is that guy in year one. So like, and then we're talking defensive tackles. We're talking Logan Hall who can play on the outside, but might need some time to, to kind of, yeah, I, I think receiver has to be the place. So Mary Kay, are we doing it? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's, let's formulate this trade here then. Let me find my, my window here. Okay, so we are trading for pick 40. We're not even going to let the Seahawks make a pick before. So we're going to give up 44. We're going to get 40 back. Should we try 118? Ooh, let's, they're, letting us, they're letting us do – this trade will likely be accepted if we give up 44 and 118. Could we give up next year's four instead? Let's see. Let's see what else we can yeah. do. I'd rather trade a future pick than yeah, we can trade a future pick. pick here. Now we're a little short on picks next year, though. We do have a fourth round pick next year. We have uh Second, one fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh at the moment. We have one in the third because one of those is gonna be you're right. Uh going to the Texans. So um oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. When you there go will be, into there will the... be a Quasi pick next year, too. I believe right. when you right. go into the next year, you have to give up a higher pick right. than you do this year. So see, that's why Mary Kay's the GM. Yep. <laughs> would you Mary Kay, GM Mary Kay, would you rather go up this year's four or next year's third, the Quasi pick in the third? I'm, I and mean, that will leave us with no third round picks or the, right. you know, the Browns and they'll, uh, they'll let me do it for 202, it looks like. I mean, hmm. we've got 202 and 223. They're letting they're letting the trade go through. We move up from 44 to it's 41 only four, it's only four spots for a seventh yeah. rounder it's only four spots they'll let you do that well then we're doing that what, what did, uh... <laughs> <laughs> if we're doing was, if they're letting us do that we're doing that i was very draft day right buff. there i'm not much of a history buff <laughs> in the worm what did we give up for jeremiah wusu korma and again we're using we here because we're pretending to be in the draft and what did we give up for, for jok last year I remember it was moving, flopping seconds, and then Brown sending Carolina a fourth, and then Car- for the th- Carolina sent the Browns a fourth with a third. So they you didn't give, give up picks; you just swap picks. Browns also got number one thirteen yeah. out of that, and they right. gave up fifty nine and eighty nine. Yeah, yeah, so you didn't even lose picks; you just changed spots. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what; I think for for reality's sake here, and since we're not going this deep anyway, let's go ahead and give up one eighteen. Well, that, well maybe that, we one, get, that hurts a little bit. But that feels like, can we get something back, though, in return? Um, if it's more just like a pick swap, if we're giving up 118. Like a fourth or fifth rounder or something? Ask if we can get. How about like, how about 145? Or 153? They have two picks early in the fifth. Ask them if we can get 145 or 153 back. It looks like we can get 145 back. Yeah. So it looks like it looks like we can get 40 and 145 for 44 and 118 so they'd yeah so we'd move up four spots they'd move up a ton of spots Mm -hmm. i would give my stamp of approval to gm mary Kay and my suggestion for that trade yeah all right so mary Kay, i have a connection with the bears Mm -hmm. it's tim bielik who is also texting with the bears (laughs) he has gotten back to me and said that they are willing to uh give us 40 at 145, as long as we give them 44 and 118. I thought we were I, doing Seahawks. Yeah, it was going to be Seahawks. Oh, Seahawks. If, we're, yeah, if we're texting the Bears, the Bears are sending me a text we're, like, we don't have pick trouble. 40. We already made the pick. We took Sky <laughs> Moore. And again, and again, Doug is sitting next oh, no. to me. And Doug is sitting next to me and texting like, Dan doesn't even know who's on the clock right now. <laughs> <laughs> I really think I should have this guy's job next year. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trading with the Seahawks. They give us 145 and 40. We give them 44 and 118. Yeah, maybe there's a future pick in there. Whatever. We're not gonna, we're not gonna worry ourselves about that. All right. Are we doing it, Mary Kay? We're doing it. And I, I thought you were just testing me to see if I was paying attention yes. and if I was on top of everything. And That's I passed, exactly I passed my first test at, at when GM. I'm sitting in your office later getting reamed out. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Kay, I was just testing you. Don't fire me. <laughs> All uh, right. Yes. Let's let's pull the we are, trigger. We're off. It. I'm hitting off for trade right now. Um, they just rejected it. What? Oh, oh god, I hate this. There's a well, Sammy has a 99% chance to be accepted. 
Oh, There's a bug man. where you just hit it again. They'll accept it. All right, dude, hit it. it again. I hit it again. Yeah. Hit it again. We called him back. <laughs> did it work? They, they had second thoughts. Did you say please? I, I did, yes. Yeah. So that means that we get to take Jahan Dotson. That's the pick, right? It's We traded up to take Jahan Dotson, correct? Yes. yes. All right. I'm hitting draft right now. And with the 40th pick in the NFL draft, the Cleveland Browns select Jahan Dotson, wide receiver, Penn State. Now, let's go to Tim Pelick for his analysis <laughs> of the trade in the pick. I'll tell you what, GM Mary Kay Cabin, the Browns played this pretty right. They got lucky uh, when Jalen Petrie went off the board um, one spot before, but I like the aggressiveness of the Browns to go up and make sure they got the receiver. I thought J- Jahan Dotson was the last of those top eight guys who would be available for them and who would be a good fit for them. He was, he's a very dynamic playmaker may only be five ten, but he plays bigger than his height. He's acrobatic. He's got very good hands. Good after the catch. I understand there may have been some potential Christian watching chatter, but Christian watching drops as a huge drop problem. In fact, I've got my advanced analytics right here, courtesy of Pro Football Focus, a career drop rate of 12.7% for Christian Watson. So Dotson, clearly the better choice here. Nicely done by the Browns. 